They say when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. But life gave me limes. Now what? In Irvine, California, truck owner Daniel Shemtov is bringing savory, internationally inspired handheld cuisine to the masses. On a scale of one to five, I'd give it a five for certain. Oh, one more practice bite, how about that? At the Lime Truck, bestsellers include a Mexican-themed duck confit sope with brie cheese, creme fraiche, and hot sauce, pulled pork with chipotle honey cabbage on a bed of hand-cut fries, and a Filipino-inspired pork belly adobo taco with a tomatillo pico de gallo. It's delicious. I love it. I'll be back. I got it. If life gives you limes, you throw them away and you go eat at the lime truck instead. Taxi! <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Really delicious. We only go to the lime truck. I come here every Wednesday. I'm always satisfied. The lime truck is always pushing the envelope. They're always trying something new. I ordered the lamb sandwich. The duck confit sope. I ordered the carnitas fries. I'm addicted. Are you want some? <laughs> when we started the truck, we had a couple different ideas, but one thing was constant, and it's that we're going to use the best quality ingredients to have and source really great product. Lime is a brand, it's kind of a culture, and it's really cool because it incorporates California. One of the things that's unique about the Lime Truck is they change their menu all the time, so it's always fresh, never get bored. They're always trying something new. I got the duck confit sope. One of the best ones I've ever had in my life. We here at the Lime Truck have a very affluent crowd, and we can't be messing around with chicken. We go straight to the better protein. We take a sope, which is like a Mexican cornbread, and we deep fry that so it gets nice and crispy and, and delicious. We're gonna put some duck on the flat top, and that duck confit was actually cooked in pork fat. Don't tell all my Jewish cousins. One of the things that makes this dish is this great brie that we put in between the duck. We're going to want to get that brie all melty. We're going to go ahead and garnish this with a little bit of cream fresh, a cream and buttermilk emulsion. And we get some micro shiso, and then a little bit of sriracha. And this is our duck confit sope. Oh my god, so good. The base here is really nice. The brie is fantastic. It just all kind of balances out very, very well. There's a lot going on here. The duck on is perfect. It falls apart. The brie underneath is a nice surprise, very unique. How many times are you going to find duck on on a truck? It's just a perfect, well-balanced bite. One of the great things about being here in Irvine and growing up here, my parents were both Persian, and half of my school is Asian. And we're being in Southern California, there's obviously a very large Mexican population. So we grew up with these flavors. And I'd say that's one of my heavy influences. Lime doesn't really have any set way of doing things. So I'm able to cook with all these different flavors and kind of just create what I want with no limitations. We got the carnitas fries from the lime truck. It's one of our favorites. Carnitas fries, that's on a league of its own. People line up for days for those things. And it's just this massive mound of happiness. So first we gotta drop some of French fries. Throw it in the fryer, and then next we're gonna get pulled pork, a little rice wine vinegar, a lot a little sugar. It comes out delicious. So these fries are gonna be nice and done, all right? And we take that pork. Now, here comes the good stuff. We get a little crema, a little homemade guac, and then this chipotle honey cabbage adds a little heat, a little flavor. And then we get some little bit of cotija right there. And these are the lime truck carnitas fries. I really like the carnitas. The guacamole is great. And then whatever this cabbage, I don't know, concoction is on the top. Everything works really well together. Really good, ooh, and a little spice. And then the pork, it's really tender. It's an explosion of flavor, really. I'm a fan! <laughs> I ordered the adobo taco yeah. from the lime truck. It's our pork belly adobo taco. Adobo is typically a Filipino marinade. We kind of did our own California twist on it. So we braise that pork belly for four hours, do some brown sugar, some soy, some poison. Throw two taco shells on there. This pork belly cooks real fast. Next, we're going to put our tomatillo pico de gallo on there. Red onion, bell peppers, fresh lime juice, a little garlic salt, and then this amazing pickled red sabina hot sauce. It's got a lot of heat, but it doesn't overpower the flavor of the food. And this is our twist on a pork belly adobo taco. Muy delicioso. Can't wait to try it, but mm, absolutely delicious, divine. The pork is so juicy, tender, succulent. It's great. There's a rush of flavor that runs through your mouth. The pork's really, really tender. It's perfect. It's more work than I could have ever imagined, but so fun. Yeah, there's so much behind it, and it's such a simple transaction. You're giving a person happiness through a you know five to ten dollar item. Food is really good. The guys are friendly. It's great stuff. Oh, man, this is awesome. Yeah, excuse me.